Hey there, SmartThings enthusiast. SmartThings has just unveiled a game-changing feature, the Hub Replace functionality. Imagine seamlessly transferring your entire smart home setup to a brand new hub with just a few taps. No manual reconnecting, no hassle. Today, I'm here to present and unpack this often requested feature. Let's do this. The SmartThings Hub Everywhere webpage states that with SmartThings Hub functionality built into more devices, users may want to upgrade their SmartThings setup to a new hub. Hub Replace enables users to seamlessly transfer everything from their current hub to a new one while keeping their existing setup intact. With Hub Replace all devices, the hub's matter fabric, edge driver's data, routines, and other hub settings, along with their Zigbee, Z-Wave, and Thread networks, if supported by the receiving hub, will be seamlessly transferred and applied to the new hub with just a few taps. If the hub replace feature is requested and the source hub is online, a fresh backup will be created and used for the replace operation. However, the hub replace feature is also available to transfer devices and routine setups to a new hub, even if your source hub is unavailable. The hub replace feature creates periodic encrypted backups of information like network keys for its supported mesh networks, driver state, and other key pieces of information. If the hub is offline, the most recent available backup will be used for the replace operation. Replacing an offline hub is a best effort process and may miss some changes that occurred between the most recent backup and the date that the source hub went offline. SmartThings therefore recommends that users execute the hub replace operation at a time when the source hub is still online, if possible. The hub firmware version 0.50.10 will enable the hub replace functionality for supported hubs. Supported models include the Aotech Smart Home Hub, the SmartThings V3 Hub, and the SmartThings V2 Hub. The SmartThings announcement concerning the hub release advised that the firmware release began this past Monday, October 16th. The release will likely be spread out over the course of 10 days, so you may not see your hub update at the time of this video. You will also require an updated version of the SmartThings app to utilize the Hub Replace feature. Required versions include Android version 1.8.09 or newer, or the iOS version 1.7.09 or newer. The Android version is currently rolling out to users, and the iOS version will be available in just a few weeks. Initiating the Hub Replace process takes just a few minutes and can be easily performed from the SmartThings app. To get started, all you need is two hubs that support the Hub Replace feature. Once both hubs are added and visible in the same location on the app, you can verify if your current hub supports the feature by selecting the hub and choosing the More Options menu by tapping the three dots in the upper right-hand corner of your SmartThings app. If the Replace Hub operation is unavailable, your hub does not currently support the feature. For detailed steps on how to initiate the Hub Replace process, refer to the support documentation in the SmartThings Hub section. You can find the link in the description below this video. Please note that if you delete your hub from the SmartThings platform, the backups will be removed for privacy reasons. Therefore, it's advisable to keep the hub you intend to replace on your account, even if it's in an offline state, until you can perform the replacement. Take the opportunity to check the video description below for more details and support documentation. And there you have it folks, SmartThings latest innovation is here to elevate your smart home game. Be sure to subscribe and tap that notification bell for more breaking news about SmartThings platform updates. Until the next episode, stay smart and stay connected.